and welcome back to another edition of the where should they go from here series and today we are taking a look at the dallas mavericks and so as you guys know they traded for nerlens noel and uh it's a pretty he played on 20 minutes game let's actually take a look at this real quick um, let's see real quick so yeah he was he didn't play as many minutes with the Mavericks, but he is a very promising player. He's only 23 too, so that's pretty good. Versatile on def versatile on defense, and uh, his rebounds will go up. So let's actually take a look. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Let's actually take a look at the stats screen, the player stats, and. Uh, Take a look at what am I looking at here? Noel. Noel per 30 per 36. He would have 15 points, 10 rebounds, two steals, and two blocks. Now I think that this right here, this two steals right here, is a bit skewed. I think the 15 points is a bit skewed, but I feel like yeah, he can get 10 rebounds and maybe 1.7 blocks isn't such a bad eclipse either but the other ones are a bit skewed also led the team in PER so the the Mavericks and uh, they have Harrison Barnes rookie woo gosh I hate Harrison Barnes but anyways Harrison Barnes he his three-point efficiency went down because he was creating his own shot more this year instead of being assisted in that Warriors offense so that's why he had his points per game go up and uh, his field goal efficiency is around the same and also he's a pretty good defender too pretty key on that part that was actually the one thing that he did well for us in that playoffs 2016 2015 he was awesome but 2016 gosh he was just but anyways there's Dirk still he plans on returning and at this point he's a shooter not as good definitely not as good as he used to as he used to be still pretty efficient from the three-point range but definitely not as not the player he once was which I mean you don't expect Dirk to be as good as he once was and uh, the main reason was the ball was in Harrison Barnes's hands more he was the number one scoring option rather than hit Dirk and they also had other guys like Seth Curry he was had a pretty good season it's really a shooter not a point guard not even a combo card uh, JJ Barea at this point he's just a role player but Yogi Ferrell Yogi Ferrell undrafted free agent picked up from Indiana well, I thought I said I thought that said something else but Yogi Ferrell had a pretty promising season for Dallas and a pretty good playmaker shooter defensively doesn't appear to be that good and uh, that's really the problem with the Mavericks Wesley Matthews isn't the defender or the player that he once was on Portland yeah see look at this he was averaging 15 he was averaging 16 and 15 these two years his last two years in Portland before he got injured so he was he's not the player he once was because he's 12 and 13 points per game he is not efficient at all and he's just it's pretty sad to say that he's not the player he once was on Portland which is why his defense is a bit overrated in my opinion but uh, yeah I mean the Mavs have some assets there's also Dwight Powell be a pretty good role player for them so the Mavericks have some good young players to build around like Harrison Barnes, Seth Curry, Yogi Ferrell, Nerlens Noel. But uh, Harrison Barnes, I'm not sure that he's going to be the guy that can lead your team entirely. I'm not convinced that he's that guy just yet. So you really want a bona fide star with your draft pick, which is I don't think they're going to be inside the draft they're gonna have this pick but I doubt unless see Josh Jackson 
I don't know how as, how good of a fit this would be with Harrison Barnes there. Maybe the Aaron Fox wouldn't be so bad if he falls to the Mavs. Because they do own their pick. Or it's... Let's take a look at what the Sixers... They own... Yeah. It's lottery protected, so... They're going to have their pick. They're going to have their pick this year. And, uh... They're going to need to spend it on a guy that they believe can be a star for them. Whether it's Frank Talikina falling to them, that wouldn't be such a bad option. Darren Fox wouldn't be so bad. Jason Tatum, eh, he's a little too similar to Harrison Barnes, but he's a bit worse of a defender. So, they're going to need to draft a star out of this draft. Out of this upcoming draft, they're going to need to get a guy that they can go to or even even if it's not even a guy like that even if they're unlucky to get a guy like that if they're lucky to get the number one pick then they can drive Markel Fultz or even Lonzo Ball wouldn't be so bad but drafting Markel Fultz getting getting a guy that's a bona fide star that wouldn't be such bad I mean if they can log into the number one pick then that would be the ideal for the Mavericks but hey I mean waiting until next year wouldn't be so bad if they I don't think they're gonna be bad enough to get a guy like DeAndre H let's actually take a look at this real quick I want to see something I want to see the 2018 draft class yeah so if they if they're lucky enough to get a guy like Michael Porter I doubt who Miles Bridges is returning DeAndre Ayton wouldn't be so bad, but they have Nerlens Noel, so I don't know. I mean, he has a higher upside than Nerlens Noel, and certainly playing Nerlens Noel would, at the power forward wouldn't be so bad if it was the past NBA. But DeAndre Ayton has been compared to the Admiral, so that wouldn't be such a bad thing. Maybe they could trade Nerlens Noel to a title contender. Or to somebody that could use him better. I really just don't know that much about this draft class. Isaac Bonga compared to Nicholas Batum. Or he has some similarities to Nicholas Batum. Michael Porter. Wouldn't be so bad. But they have Harrison Barnes. Miles Bridges. Wouldn't be so bad either. So the Mavs have... They can go some ways maybe they truly believe that Harrison Barnes could be their franchise savior but the first step I would say would be improving wow that actually their defense was actually pretty good last year because their offense but they're gonna need to get guys they're gonna need to continue to grow as a team and just find a way to luck into a star player their next franchise savior maybe Harrison Barnes is the leader I don't know if he is but if he is that would be good for Dallas so overall take a look at their contracts I haven't taken a look at their contracts yet but they're going to have Dirk for two more years in terms of under contract two more years I'm not sure if he's going to retire or not. But they still have Harrison Barnes for a long period of time. Wesley Matthews is under that contract. is isn't It isn't very favorable for the Mavericks. Dwight Powell is a pretty good role player. And Ernest Noel, they can match any offer for him. Seth Curry is under contract. Next year, J.J. Barea. Devin Harris if they want to. Yogi Ferrell, they're going to have to re-sign him. Keep as many assets as they can and then in terms of trades I really don't know of any trades maybe they can if they want to they can try and get something out of Seth Curry but I doubt that they try to trade him at least this offseason if somebody's really willing to bid on Wesley Matthews they might be able to get out of his contract I doubt it though so in terms of trades you really don't want to do too much you really don't want to do too many 
not even Harrison Barnes. I mean, obviously if somebody offers you a ridiculous offer for Harrison Barnes, a ridiculously unrealistic offer that you would only be able to pull off in 2K for Harrison Barnes, then uh, you can take it if you want to. But really, you want to keep your young assets at least going into next year. So overall, the Mavericks have a pretty solid future. This draft, they're going to have to pick up somebody that they would feel comfortable leading their team. I mean, you never know what can happen. You never know who they might see as a star. And Jesus, man, this mock draft just got changed. Look at this. Aaron Fox going to the Suns. Markel Fultz going. To, what the? <laughs> this is weird. But anyways, the Mavs aren't in a terrible spot. They're not in a bad spot whatsoever. They're actually in a pretty good spot. Just going to need to draft a star player and actually Josh Jackson wouldn't be such a bad player to have entirely okay this is more this is more accurate so he's more ball dominant and uh, you can get Harrison Barnes more efficient if he doesn't handle the ball most of the time Josh Jackson the thing is I'm not sure how exactly he would fit maybe you bring Steph Seth Curry off the bench that wouldn't be such a bad idea but uh, Josh Jackson, I mean, having a wing duo of Josh Jackson and Harrison Barnes wouldn't be too bad because Josh Jackson doesn't have that good of a jump shot. And uh, he'd be a pretty good playmaker, very good defender, a great defender. And then um, Harrison Barnes, pretty good defender. He's actually underrated as a defender, in my opinion. And he won't have to be doing most of the creating because he's not very good at passing entirely. He's just a guy that you would have shoot. So the Mavericks, if they luck into Josh Jackson, that would be a pretty good situation for them. But overall, this team has a pretty solid future. And uh, as long as they build off of what they, whoa, 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 whoa. As long as they build off of what they have currently, correctly, then they'll be fine. They will be absolutely fine. And they will be back up to the NBA. They actually got off to a bit of a slow start, it looks like. And a slow finish, too. Did well in the middle. But the Mavericks are pretty good. I said that multiple times now. But, anyways, that's going to do it for this episode of Where Should They Go From Here. And we took a look at what, where the Mavericks should go from here. So I've been RJ West. I'm saying so long. In the next episode, we will be taking a look at the New Orleans Pelicans. So I will see you then.